Uh, this video is about the installation of a Yamaha GYTR gear reduction kit in a 2018 YXZ1000. Uh, it took me about three hours to remove the transmission. Um, what I did was remove the plastic fuel tank. Uh, it's all pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, I disconnected the engine to transmission drive shaft on both of the transmission and I was able to slide the transmission forward to disconnect the rear drive shaft and then slide the transmission back to disconnect the front drive shaft. <clears throat> As you can see here uh, I left the two mounting bolts into the transmission so I was able to lift it onto the bench. Uh, here I am removing the clutch cover uh, one thing to note that there are three bolts uh, that have copper washers on that cover and I believe they're marked with a triangle. These three. There I am pointing to the three bolts that have the copper washers. Here is the uh, clutch spring. I was actually quite surprised to see that it resembled a, uh, a street bike clutch rather than everything I've seen in, an, in a dirt bike or a, an ATV. Um, there was a lot of washers and spacers and bearings in this clutch and I was extra careful to keep all the, all the parts in the order and orientation that they came out. Uh, at the end I ended up putting a wire through all of the hardware and the discs just to make sure nothing got misplaced. That's the retaining ring, ring being removed and the pressure spring I guess is what's being moved here. This transmission had uh, 250 miles on it and I was surprised to find that there was just one disc inside that was blue from, from heat damage. <clears throat> I don't remember ever slipping the clutch excessively since I own that. It's important to note here that the last few discs uh, in this clutch are actually held in by a thin metal wire uh, on the clutch basket and you won't be able to get them out. Uh, here I am removing the clutch uh, push rod, I guess this would be the button. Uh, behind this button is a ball and then behind that is the clutch push rod which goes into the clutch hydraulic piston or slave cylinder. Uh, 
uh, here I am uh, removing the clutch basket again uh, Bellevue washer and the regular washer and I'm gonna start restacking all the uh, all the plates back into this basket and I'll, like I said I'm gonna put a wire through it so everything stays in order Here I am just uh, cleaning the outside of the case with some brake cleaner. Uh, the transmission wasn't too dirty. I just wanted to get some of the bigger chunks off and just give it a little wipe before I uh, start removing components. Here I am getting ready to remove the clutch slave cylinder. Uh, I just want to mention that there are two dowel pins in this cover, so don't forget to move those to the new case half. Uh, while assembling this on the new case half, I f initially forgot to install the clutch pushrod seal. Uh, I would recommend that if you're going to do this kit, lay out all the small parts and read through the instructions to see where they go just so you have an Engine idea bolt, what parts will be washer. replacing there's definitely lock tight on these This is just an example of how the clutch push rod uh, goes through the case and fits into the, the slave cylinder. On the back end of this rod is where the ball and the clutch button is. On to the healing bench now. Uh, this is the new case half. It is identical to the old one uh, other than the inside has been fly cut for one of the larger gears. It even comes with an official sticker. Slave cylinder gasket. Uh, 
Uh, here I am putting some petroleum jelly into the slave cylinder housing. Uh, when I originally took it apart, it was it was covered in it, so I figured I should just re repack it a little bit, uh, coat the inside, and continue assembly. Sorry about the hissing air hose in the background. Right about here is where I discovered that the, there's a seal in the old case, and the kit provided a new seal for the new case, which I didn't realize until I looked over the instructions. So just keep an eye out for small parts like that. Uh, another part that was provided by the kit that I realized was that breather uh, nipple that's in the clutch slave cylinder housing. Um, here's the new shaft seal. Uh, it basically pressed in with my fingers. I put a little petroleum jelly on it, pressed it in, uh, good to go. And this is about the third time that I put the, this uh, cover slave cylinder back on. I spend quite a bit of time uh, just taking oil galley bolts um, off of the old transmission and moving them to the new transmission. Every oil galley bolt and plug had a copper uh, crush ring with it. So just be aware that there's new crush rings for everything. I recorded this video uh, as an aid for myself so I can check, you know, make sure I did things right and see, remember how things came apart. Uh, I figure I would just add some audio to it and uh, post it up and hopefully it can help somebody else. Looks like it's the next day now, and I'm getting ready to remove the front drive pack. Be aware that on this um, drive pack, this drive clutch pack, there were two bolts that were longer. Uh, I marked the case with an L and the heads of the bolts uh, just so I would know that for reassembly.
this is the removal of the motor to transmission drive shaft guard. Here is the removal of the case half bolts. bolts. Uh, pay attention to these. There were a couple that were longer. And once again, you know, I marked the case with an L and the heads of the bolts so I know where they would go for uh, reassembly. Here is the removal of the rear drive shaft socket. Um, I did fight this a little bit. My impact was ineffective. Uh, it came apart pretty easy with a breaker bar. Uh, it was just awkward holding the front drive shaft yoke with a pipe wrench and using a breaker bar to break the, the nut loose. Enjoy, watch me struggle a bit. All the while I'm struggling with this, uh, my CF Moto can be seen in the background smirking. It's time to split the case now. Uh, I gave it a couple whacks with my brass hammer, uh, broke the sealant loose, and it's just a matter of working it slowly, flipping it, prying gently, tapping, and uh, just working it loose. And after about five minutes, it finally let loose, and we didn't lose any parts.
here is the removal of the shift rod pawl. Uh, that linkage puts pressure on the that star wheel to hold the transmission in gear. And here is a close-up of the hardware and how that fits together. A little more struggling and it finally let loose. That washer was the only piece that fell out of the transmission when I split the case. And there you have it. There's the three case halves. Uh, my next step is to press off the gear uh, on the main shaft that you see right there. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video.